In this video, I'm going to talk about the binomial experiment. And in the binomial experiment, this is the formula that you're going to use, so I will explain to you how you use it. So basically, what it's saying that is that in a situation with a fixed number of trials, with each trial only being a success or a failure, the probability of success being the same in all trials and the trials being independent, the probability of having X number of successes is going to equal the product of the number of trials, choose however many you want to be successful, the probability of success to the power of however many successes you want, and the probability of failure, or 1 minus the probability of success, to the power of however many trials you want to fail. So, fixed number of trials. Basically, if you have a coin and you want to get three heads, you don't flip the coin until you get three heads. We're finding the probability of finding three heads in however many trials you're doing. The probability of each trial being a success or failure, well, if you're flipping a coin, you can't get anything but heads or tails. The probability of success has to be the same in all trials. Your circumstances that you're um, conducting your experiment under don't change, and the trials have to be independent. Getting ahead on the first flip of a coin doesn't make you more or less likely to get ahead on the second flip. So I'm going to use this formula to do this example. I already started it and then my camera died. So, you know, that's a bummer. But I'll explain to you how I got to this stage. So, two flips of a coin and I want one head. So I'm going to let x equal 1. So the probability of x equaling one success, I'm going to say a success is getting a head, equals choose out of two flips, I'm choosing one to be my success. The probability of a success is one over two to the power of however many successes I want, I want one success. The probability of failure is also one over two, and however many failures I'm going to have is n, which is two, minus x, which is one. So that's just going to be one. So it is choose 2, 1 is the same as just 2. 1 half to the power of 1 is 1 half, and 1 half to the power of 1 is 1 half. So 2 times a quarter is just going to give you 1 half. I hope you found this video helpful, and good luck on your math.